Car flying in the air, skateboard hovering, sliding plot 3D advertising. Because of this movie, a pair of shoes of the same model sold to 810,000. The impact of this movie is very big. This is all a clip from the 1989 science fiction movie. Back to the Future 2. In 1985, the doctor returns from 30 years in the future and tells Martin that his future child is in danger and needs help in the past. The girlfriend takes him along to the future 2015 because she saw the time machine. At this time, in order to ease the traffic pressure, the car has achieved land and air. On the way, because his girlfriend had too many questions, the doctor hypnotized her with advanced instruments. Arriving at the town where their future is located, the doctor first observes Martin's son George, and as Martin put on the same clothes as his son, he first puts his still awake girlfriend to the side of the road, where the newspaper shows that George is in jail for robbery. The next thing Martin had to do was to go to the cafe and pretend that George refused Mike's grandson's invitation. Martin just arrived at the cafe, the same dress George also came. He hurriedly hid, immediately after Mike's grandson appeared and invited George to go robbing at night. George was timid to disagree and was thrown behind the table. He landed right in front of Martin. Martin saw George passed out and came out and refused Mike's grandson. But Mike's grandson was not going to let him go, and they almost fought. Martin found that he was not his opponent and rushed to run. In the outside grabbed a child's skateboard. High-tech skateboard can actually levitate. The operation of unskilled Martin almost knocked down passersby. Mike grandson saw the chase over. Martin accidentally slipped on the surface of the water. Overboard in the water without power, no matter how Martin paddling water is not moving. At that moment, Mike's grandson stepped on the powered skateboard and flew over. He was about to hit Martin with a baseball bat when Martin jumped directly into the water. Mike's grandson, who was unable to break, crashed directly into the municipal building. By this time, the newspaper showed that the previous news of George's arrest had turned into news of Mike's grandson's arrest for vandalizing the municipal building. Martin wants to buy a sports magazine to take back with him, which has competitions of various sports for 60 years. If the magazine he bought won the lottery then he would be rich. As he was leaving, the doctor found the sports magazine Martin bought. I invented the time machine is not to make money. If you bring back this thing, it may cause a lot of things to change. Eventually the doctor threw away the magazine. Just as they were going to find his girlfriend, they found the unconscious girlfriend was found by the police. Then, she was sent to his future home. If the current girlfriend meets the future girlfriend, there could be a mess. The doctor and the guys rushed to drive after them. Their conversation was overheard by Mike behind the door. Then Mike picked up the magazine and the girlfriend was sent to the future home. The doctor drove to the location. He went to his girlfriend, let Martin change in the car and wait for him. And at this time Mike followed in the car. Martin was attracted by the automatic six breath, curious to follow the past. At this time Mike took the magazine to the car and then drove away. The doctor found his girlfriend and asked her to come out of the house as soon as possible. When the girlfriend walked to the door, she happened to meet her 30 years later. They were both stunned instantly after seeing each other. Mike had sent the car back, and when he got out of the car his crutches got stuck. When he was excited the crutches broke off a section. In the car the doctor and Martin carried his girlfriend to the car. And then they drove back to 1985. Martin got out of the car and went home to find the door locked. He went over the wall into the courtyard, and then over the wall into the room, when he found a woman on the bed. This was no longer his home. Nearly beaten up, he quickly ran out into the street. The streets here were dirty and messy, completely slum-like. The previous clock tower had also been converted into Mike's casino. Mike is now the richest man in town. The whole town has only become what it is now under his management. To add to the absurdity, Mike actually married his mother, Lorraine, who became Mike's son. When Martin asked his mother where Papa George had gone, she said he had died 12 years ago. It wasn't until Martin saw Papa George's grave that he believed everything that was in front of him. That's when the doctor found Martin. The doctor said that we must have come to a twisted time and space. He found the bag of magazines in the time machine and half of old Mike's crutches, indicating that old Mike must have driven the time machine to give the magazines to his younger self. The newspaper shows that Mike got a million for the first time and the picture shows that he had the magazine in his pocket. The current doctor is also confined to a mental institution. To solve this problem, it is necessary to know when and where the old Mike gave the magazine to the young Mike. To get to the bottom of the matter, 
Martin found Mike. Mike came straight out with the exact time and place. Then they took out the gun. Because back then old Mike said whoever asked about it could not survive. Fortunately, Martin was very agile to dodge the gun. When he ran to the top of the building, Mike came after him with a gun. Now give you the choices. Is he jumped or I shot you to kill you? Martin jumped straight down. Just when Mike wondered what was going on up to check, Martin was knocked unconscious by the car door. It turned out that the doctor came over to save Martin. To the specific time and place. Then they need to hurry back to the time to stop this thing from happening. The time is exactly inside the first part. Martin returned to the future of the day. Martin first changed into contemporary clothes, with binoculars and walkie-talkie and the doctor to keep in touch at all times. He followed Mike to the front of the car. When Mike did not notice he hid behind the car. When Mike returned to the car, the car Saturday back through the old Mike. Old Mike took out the sports magazine and said follow this and buy a winning team and you will be rich and on your way to the top of life. Watching Mike did not believe until old Mike turned on the radio and listened to a game that really turned out to be exactly like the book. Old Mike told him to make sure to lock it in the safe not to let anyone know about it. Watching them walk out, Martin noticed that the garage door was locked. Immediately Mike was going to the prom. Martin hid in the car again and could only whisper in the back to contact the doctor and tell him where the car was going. After the car stopped, Martin was about to get the book when Mike stuffed it directly into his pocket and left. Just as Martin was about to get his hands on it, the book was confiscated by the teacher. Martin had to go to the office with the teacher. When the teacher left, he threw it in the trash. Martin picked it up and found that it was just a beautiful illustrated book with a sports magazine cover. Just when drive, contact did not know what to do. Just in time to see the first part of the clock, Georgia Punch knocked out Mike's scene. Martin rushed over to pretend to help save Mike directly by taking Mike's magazine. Just when Martin was going to rendezvous with the doctor met Mike's men, who were looking for the first Martin. They took this Martin as the first step through the Martin. Martin was so scared that he rushed under the table just in time to see the first Martin. Was performing passionately on stage. Mike's men again on the stage of Martin. The doctor said hurry up and stop them. Or the stage Martin cannot go back on time. It will still be a big problem. Martin climbed up to the stage stand putting down the sandbags on top. He smashed three people directly into unconsciousness, just when he thought everything was going well. Mike, who woke up, found Martin again. Then Martin was slapped unconscious. The magazine was snatched by Mike again. Martin and the doctor rushed after them. When the two cars were close, Martin took out his hoverboard and followed them, and managed to grab the magazine. This completely enraged Mike. He drove into Martin, the doctor from above the rope out to pick up Martin. Then Martin burned the magazine and the news of his father's murder in the newspaper became the news of his father's fame. The news of the doctor being put in a mental hospital also changed immediately. A lightning bolt in the sky hit the time machine. Then the doctor disappeared. It was raining heavily and a man stepped out of the car. He took out a letter from his arms saying that the letter had been in the bank for 70 years and said that it should be given to a man named Martin at this time and place. He did not expect Martin would really show up. Martin opened the letter and found that it was written by the doctor. It turns out that the doctor returned to 1885. The time machine was broken by lightning and the conditions at that time cannot be repaired. Want to save the doctor back can only find the current doctor. This side of the doctor just sent the first step back to Martin. When he was excited, Martin found the doctor again. The doctor took a look at how another Martin son passed. This is the second step back to the future the third step in the Martin in order to save the doctor. Back to the 1885 era of the Western Cowboy.